The learning approach uses operant conditioning and social learning theory to explain aggression. Operant conditioning is the theory that behaviour is learned through consequence. If a behaviour is followed by reinforcement, it is more likely to be repeated, and if a behaviour is followed by punishment, it is less likely to be repeated. This includes aggressive behaviour. If someone receives a reward as a result of aggression, they are more likely to repeat it to receive the same reward. This might include tangible rewards, such as sweets or money, but could also include intangible rewards, such as social status. For example, a bully's aggressive behaviour might be reinforced through tangible reward, like taking someone's property. And it could also be rewarded by gaining popularity or the respect of others. Both of these examples reinforce the bully's aggressive behaviour and make it more likely to be repeated. Although operant conditioning can explain why aggressive behaviour may be repeated or not, it doesn't explain why it happens in the first place. This can be explained better through social learning theory. This is the idea that aggression can be learned through observation and imitation. Therefore, if someone observes a model behaving aggressively, they may learn the behaviour by copying them. For example, if a child observes a parent behaving aggressively, they are likely to copy them, particularly as imitation is more likely when the observer admires or identifies with the model. Imitation is also more likely to occur if the observer witnesses the model's behaviour being reinforced. This is called vicarious reinforcement. Similarly to operant conditioning, although indirectly, the observer learns through the consequences of another person's behaviour. For example, observing a parent using aggressive language and gaining the respect of their friends makes the child more likely to do the same and achieve the same kind of respect from their own friends. The likelihood of imitation does, however, depend on a person's confidence in their own ability to use the behaviour to achieve the same reward. This is called self-efficacy. If the observer is confident that they could use aggression to achieve the same reward, they are more likely to imitate the model than if they lack this self-confidence. It is important to remember that social learning theory doesn't only occur in real life, as there is evidence to suggest that behaviour can also be learned through observation and imitation of the media, such as films, TV, including fictional characters. The learning approach is an important tool to understand how aggressive behaviour is developed and therefore also can be reduced. For example, positive role models can be used as a strategy to promote observation and imitation of good behaviours rather than aggressive ones. Operant conditioning can also be used to deter aggression through the use of punishment. Through operant conditioning, behaviour is less likely to be repeated when it's followed by a punishment. However, this is one of the main weaknesses of the learning approach when it comes to aggression. There are plenty of examples of people who continue to repeatedly act aggressively despite receiving punishments. This therefore suggests that there must be other factors that influence aggressive behaviour, such as biological factors.